Alright guys, Crane here. Second part of the wing disassembly. We've already done the first part. We get to the slide mechanism. We have one, two, three, four, five, six small screws. Uh, this one thing I will tell you, these screws, you should not try to interchange them with any other screws in the foam. Of course, you know, the, these six, you could, they can go back to any of those six slots, but you wouldn't want to try to put them on any other level of the phone. They're all different lengths and different widths. So if you ever need any parts, we get plenty of phones in for parts. We can usually troubleshoot with you via email or over the phone, 850-210-2546. Go ahead and pop those out. Slide it back down this way. If you just keep pulling, the whole thing slides out. You can tell, see underneath here, that metal lip goes right there, and that's what it catches into. When you get down to the end, sort of bend down, it'll pop right off. Now, we are to the LCD assembly. Okay, Go back to our T4, and there are several screws in the back. We have one, two, three, four screws on the exterior rim of the foam. And then on the interior rim of the foam, same size screwdriver, different size screws, there are six of them. As soon as we get this off, we're actually going to be to the LCD and digitizer. It's whole, it's one entire assembly with this phone for the LCD. You don't have to buy a digitizer separate, like on models like the G1, things like that. All right, so we've taken out six screws on the interior, two, two screws on each side of the exterior rim. We go back, get our small pry tool. I typically recommend starting at the bottom, but you can really start wherever you want. Small pry tool. Get in there, you'll hear it pop. Use a steady pressure, you don't want to damage your housing, and just keep sliding up. Keep sliding up. Alright, now you're going to lift this up. Sometimes the LCD itself will stick to the housing. You want to just push that down a little as you go. The, this front face will come off. right there. That will lift completely off. Now we've gotten down to the actual LCD itself. This is typically what cracks and looks like it's bleeding ink. If you don't feel comfortable doing this repair, you can always mail it to us. Our address will be posted on the YouTube video, 2415 North Monroe Street. We have one, two screws down here at the bottom. And then one, two screws up at the top. Those are all the same length. All right, we're gonna lift that up. Wait, if you're working. <laughs> this, your flex cable, actually connects through here. And there's a long flex that goes all the way around here. Okay. There's just a little bit of adhesive on the other side there. Just lift up, lift up on this side, and the entire flex cable assembly will come out. Okay. Now we've actually removed the LCD from the housing. At the very bottom, we have a hinge. Lift that up, and we separate out the LCD. That is typically the part that breaks. At the very top, you also have your earpiece. That piece right there, sometimes the earpiece will go on these phones. Lift up that tab, lift up that tab, and the earpiece, you can just put a whole new one in there if you have one, obviously, and usually we have some in stock. I'm going to go ahead and find an LCD for this model, and we will come back and film the reassembly.